welcome, <laughs> Martin, to the nightly show. Thank you How very does much. it feel to be the very first guest? Oh, very lucky, very fortunate, very blessed. It's an historic occasion, isn't it? <laughs> and you chose your walk-on music there. Uh, yeah. And it's Dirty Bit by the Black Eyed Peas. Yeah. Why did you choose that music? I don't quite like it. I'd always had this dream of um, doing a display at um, Olympia on one of my horses. Possibly to that, but... Um, <laughs> I'm a this crap we rider. would love to see. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love it. I dream it. Sometimes I well up a bit in the car. Just <laughs> imagining it, but I'm not a very good rider, so it's probably not going to happen. What is a dirty bit? Uh, a dirty bit? I'm not sure. I've, I've, I don't, you tell me. You're younger. You're younger. <laughs> Does anybody know what a dirty bit? <laughs> now, we were talking about the Oscars earlier. Mm. Um, you must have been to a fair few award ceremonies over yeah. the years. Have you had any mix-ups at uh, award ceremonies? Um, I bent my BAFTA the night I won it. <laughs> I, I, I put it on the sink. It was all very exciting. Um, and I put it on the sink to have a drink of water. Uh, and it fell over and hit me on the head, and I, I realised it's still squiffy to this day. Had you been consuming <laughs> alcohol? I was jet-lagged. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you call yes. it? Yes. <laughs> now, Doc Martin yes. is about to return yes, for its... Yes, I'm looking at you in Port It's oh, Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so it's about to return for its penultimate series. Yeah. So why are you killing the series off? Well, we're not. We just... That's all oh. we know, is that, that, you know, we've always done, you know, commission to commission, you just wait. It's, it's blissfully uh, clear on ITV. If people watch it, it goes again, and if they don't, it doesn't. And um, we got a double commission last time when we finished. So, oh, right, OK. So, that's so you're basically planning to do it forever? Probably, <laughs> probably will have done it. Yes, just to stop me doing it, because I would do it forever. I love right. it. We also recently saw you in a series called Islands of Australia. Yes. Now, is it easy to get ITV to just pay for a free holiday? No. <laughs> no, it's not. You have to perform. Did you get recognised a lot? Yes, yes, quite famous in Australia. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> How famous exactly? I don't know how you imagine. I, did, I got screamed at the airport on Norfolk Island, which was very sweet. What did they say? Dog man! Dog man! <laughs> Dog man, we love Does you. Does anyone ever do the, the uh, song that the Japanese schoolgirls sung on? No. On Come Home? And I went to Tokyo, fully hoping to get sung at. I'm not sure I, it's big in Tokyo. Well, I was <laughs> gutted. <laughs> and do you know that you have a lot of fans around the world? Do you know that they actually have a name they call themselves, you know this? The Clunatics. The Clunatics. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Laugh at my people. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got a lot of dedicated fans, and some have even written erotic fiction about you. Right. Are you aware of this? No, I wasn't. Well, we have found... Yeah. <laughs> we have found <laughs> some genuine erotic fiction written about you. <laughs> and I, I would like to read it to you. OK. okay. <laughs> Make love to me, Martin. Oh. I repeated as I put my arms around his neck and pulled him down to gently kiss him on the lips. It was best to be direct with Martin, to tell him exactly what I wanted, because he was absolutely clueless when it came to picking up subtle hints. <laughs> I reached up to nuzzle his neck and ears. It'll take a while. <laughs> as I started to undo his trousers, I was thrilled to find out he was most definitely turned on and ready for action. <laughs> Make love to me, Martin, I whispered, and he finally did. Ah. Real, real fan fiction, ladies and gentlemen. And the person who wrote that has chosen to remain anonymous. <laughs> now, does any of that ring true to you at all? Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to think about it. Do you like having your ears nuzzled? Already? Yeah, I love having my ears yeah. nuzzled. <laughs> Very what, sexy, isn't Jack it? Jack Russell's do best. <laughs> um, we've got a little more erotic fan fiction, and we oh, thought it'd be great. nice if you... I mean, you genuinely haven't seen this before. We thought it'd be nice if you read this out, OK? OK. <laughs> see, if, see if it gets you going. OK. You <laughs> oh, Christ. <laughs> Ooh, Martin, I love it. I think it's not me that's speaking. Ooh, Martin, I love it when you talk dirty. Do it some more. Tell me exactly what it is you want me to do. <laughs> what you want to do to me. She realised that seducing him was going to be easy now that he was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Just as long as the important part of his anatomy, she's mad for it, this one, was going to be up to it and he wouldn't suffer from brewer's droop. <laughs> 
<laughs> or doctor's cock. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> Martin told her wickedly, I want to make you scream when I plunge my Percy into your receptacle of love. <laughs> Now, the truth is absolutely true. Plunge my person.